Well, 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 Ubisoft is doing its best to salvage the reputation and image of its upcoming Assassin's Creed title, Shadows. If you're a fan of the channel, then you know I've already done a video on the lie that Yasuke was a samurai. He simply was not. Congratulations, I hope you became a samurai in Japan. I didn't. And anyone claiming that he was a samurai is really going out on a limb with the speculation. Recently, there was another guy, I believe his name is Yu Hirayama, a Japanese man, stepped forward and tried to replace Thomas Lockley. Well, Thomas Lockley was the previous guy, a white guy, who claimed that Yasuke was a samurai, except his historical works were nothing but fiction. Thomas Lockley was caught using a pseudonym to edit the Wikipedia page for Yasuke, among other things, and he's essentially gone into hiding. He's been disgraced as a liar and a fraud, and essentially Lockley is now out. But Yu Hirayama was hoping he could come in and replace him. Well, guess what? We found out this Yu Hirayama guy is not only bogus, but he's also a member of the Japanese Communist Party in Pony Canyon, a media company trying to get its name out there pushing the DEI agenda. When Japanese people fought back against Yu Hirayama and his lies about Yasuke on X, he eventually backed down. Instead of boldly claiming that Yasuke was a samurai, he's now saying that he's speculating. I'm Fox and this is Real Mark Fox, your home for rational, reasonable, real gamers. Let's roll that intro. The truth shall set you free. Well, on the Assassin's Creed X account, what do we have but four images of text in which the team, allegedly the dev team, is trying to quell the concerns of the community, particularly the Japanese community. By the way, in case you don't know, the proper pronunciation for Yasuke is Yasuke. The U sound from the U letter is almost silent. You want to really downplay the U of the SU. So it's not Yasuke, it's Yasuke. Yasuke. There's a little bit of an ooh sound, but not much. So what do we have here on the Assassin's Creed X account? It says the Assassin's Creed Shadows team has a message for our Japanese community. Well, that's interesting. Let's take a look at this thing. Wow. It's got essentially four huge, long text images attached. This is a lot. We're not going to read the whole thing. But essentially what they say is that they're expressing their heartfelt thanks for all the support. I'm sorry, Ubisoft, you've not been getting support. You've been getting the opposite of support. You've been getting backlash. So we can skip the first image because it's just a bunch of hoo-ha about how they appreciate your support. It says here, we have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. That's false. However, our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games as factual representation of history or historical characters. That's also a lie, because on the Assassin's Creed X account, you can see them posting saying things like the historical character of Yasuke, the samurai. Literally saying historical, and then presenting him as he is in the game as historical. They even say that you can learn about the history of Japan through their game, and then now they're doing a turnabout, a 180, and claiming it's just fiction. Assassin's Creed Shadows is first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal Japan. What happened about learning about Japanese history, Ubisoft? We're now just learning a historical fiction story. It's not real history anymore. Our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. Well, you failed there because you screwed up a lot. You screwed up a lot. They screwed up a lot. They used the wrong characters at times. They use upside down characters or Chinese characters instead of Japanese characters. They got a ton of stuff wrong, not just Yasuke. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional materials have caused concern within the Japanese community. For this, we sincerely apologize. They're sorry that you're mad about it. They're not sorry they did it. They don't admit to making any mistakes. They're just sorry that they did it. Based on the constructive criticism we've received, we will continue our efforts until we put this game into your hands and beyond. 
We also want to clarify that while we have been consulting with many people throughout the development process, they are in no way responsible for the decisions that are taken by the creative teams in the interests of gameplay and entertainment. So don't blame them because they're just consultants, right? What's the point of bringing in a consultant and then ignoring what they tell you? I'm assuming the consultants are telling them this stuff and how did the consultants not realize how much was being done wrong? The Nobunaga clan symbol was wrong. While Yasuke, I'm skipping some stuff. While Yasuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows, we acknowledge that this is a matter of debate and discussion. Oh, now it's a matter of debate. It's not a historical fact anymore. We're not proclaiming it boldly as fact, backing it up with historians like Thomas Lockley, who's now been ousted in shame as a fraud. We greatly value your feedback and encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts respectfully. Well, we will continue sharing our thoughts because Ubisoft, what you guys have done and what you've put out has been incredibly disrespectful to all of us and especially the Japanese community. You see, Asian people, especially Japanese people, are learning what it feels like when the Wokies out there shit all over their culture and then tell them to like it. Us white people have been dealing with this for decades and no one's been defending us. I'm not saying no one should defend the Japanese. They should, but they should also defend white people when it happens to us because white cultures all over the world have been shit on, absolutely shit on by the Wokies, nonstop with lies twisting our culture, calling us evil and all these other horrible things. And now some Asian cultures are experiencing this for the first time. I will defend them just the same as I defend white people. The moral of this story is abandon Ubisoft, give up on the Assassin's Creed games, don't buy it, don't play it. Even if there's a free demo, don't touch this garbage. Let's show them that woke doesn't sell. We've seen it time and time again. Whether it's Suicide Squad, Concord, recently Flintlock, all of these woke games are just flopping and flopping hard and that's exactly what we want. I'll take a hit to that. So, Cheers to Ubisoft's future failure, Assassin's Creed Shadows, and may they continue to grovel at our feet with half-hearted fake apologies. Mmm. Tastes like groveling and fake apologies. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, tap the notification bell icon, and consider joining the channel. It's just $1.99. Drunken Dwarf and Fornelius Nolan have, so why haven't you? And if you want to support me in another way, you can pick up a copy of... You can pick up a copy of my novel, New Tokyo, available on Amazon in paperback, Kindle, and Kindle Unlimited. Link in the description. And if you want a game that has zero woke in it, then may I recommend Magician on the NES. It's a title that passed up. Nobody bought it because nobody realized just how amazing this game was. Taxon did something incredible here. Don't miss out on Magician. Again, thank you so much. And as always, my friends, for Fox sake, stay real, keep playing, and never forget, woke is trash. Thing sucks! <laughs>